Just three laps remaining. Three more times around. John Mickle in the 09 car. One of the fastest cars that lap, run a 37-29. Trying to run these top two down here is Jeff Levine's leading with Tony McCray second. John Mickle third, Mark Davis fourth, and rounding out the top five, Rick McCray. Three laps remaining as they come out. Oh, trouble for the eight car. He's slowing down. He's up off the pace, coming out of turn four. He's coming to pit lane. Tony McCray is now your race leader. And Ron, we talked about it. You'd have to have something big to happen. And it looks like something big did happen. Tony McCray can hang on and go on for the win of this thing. And she's battling with John Mitchell door. side to side over in turn number three and four. We can have a big finish coming out. Go ahead, Jenna. Yeah, guys, just the night out of gas. They put some gas in that car. And now he's having trouble even getting restarted down here to get off of pit road. Uh, these guys thought they were good to go, but obviously not the case. Shaking up for a big battle coming out of the uh, corner now. The nine, excuse me, the nine car, Tony McCray hanging on to John Mitchell, the UK driver in second place. As they come to the start finish line, white flag in the air one more time around, and they battle coming down to turn number one, side by side. John Mitchell to the inside takes the position. Now Tony McCray to the outside in turn number two, down the back straightaway. McCray trying to hang on to it. Mitchell trying to get a run off of turn number two. Not able to do it. Hill to the inside once again. They come down the back straightaway into the turn, turn, turn number three, side by side once again. Mitchell to the inside. Tony McCray to the outside. Mitchell now with a two-car advantage as they come around turn number four. But here comes Mitchell to the outside. Tempered flag in the air as they come to the strike. It's going to be Mitchell in the O9 car having the lead off of turn number four. The UK driver, John Mitchell, will pick up the win here for the first annual Pakista uh, Free State 500 here in Pakista. I'll tell you what, what an uh, great, great finish there. Bodine leading, give the win to John Mickle there, but I'll tell you what, Andy, you got to hand it to Tony McRae. Just had the car there all day long. Mark Davis running third, Rick McRae fourth. And I'll tell you what, the first South African driver there, Johan Spies, rounding out the top five in that ball car yesterday morning. Johan Spies with a top five finish. Congratulations to him. How about that? American stock car racing, and a UK driver comes on with the win. Johan Spies, what an outstanding finish, top five, fifth place for a South African driver, especially after the difficulties that you had this weekend. Man, I'm telling you, firstly, um, we had a very rough time. Uh, when I bought the car, uh, we um, took the car to Cape Town and we replaced the, the engine to, um, to, do this, to the horsepower that you have to race here. We came back and I've blown the motor in the qualify. So um, Duncan, a number 31 car, um, I've made a deal and he, out of his heart, I must say he's a good guy and uh, Swanky, the motors that uh, build the engine. Uh, give me the opportunity that I can um, board their car, the number 31. And if it wasn't for them, it, 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 there's no way, no way that that car, that car is awesome. And um, it's the first time ever that I race in a big oval like that. Um, I'm racing oval, but short ovals on 560 meters ovals. And uh, we race the old ASA cars. So that helped, and it, it gives me a, a little bit of, of uh, confidence to this cause. The high speed was incredible, I'm telling you. Um, turn uh, three is very difficult, and uh, I've just, I've just looked at the, the American guys and see 
uh, the line that they took. And I say, boy, if you can do it, I can do it. So um, I'm very glad and I must thank uh, Swanky Motors for the opportunity and Duncan for his car. And I want to thank the president of the ASA that to give us this opportunity and South Africa, the premier of the free state, out of the bottom of my heart, it's, it's, I, can't, I haven't got words to say how much I appreciate this. I was dreaming from when I was a little boy to race NAS cars or ASA cars, and a dream came true. So um, my last dream is just to go to America to race there. <laughs> Congratulations. I guess we'll see you back next year. Thanks. Definitely. <laughs> I will be there. Boys, next time. <laughs>